Hello everyone, Nisra Shahin here from the School of Multidimensional Consciousness. I'm here to introduce you our new blog post on soul's purpose. So we wonder what the soul's purpose is and uh, we kind of try to discover it and um, yeah, bring our gifts and dreams into life. But what actually soul's purpose is in the core, in as um, in essence, is might be might be different than what we believe it is. So it's kind of you know, is when you try to explain, um, bring words to spiritual wisdom and understanding. It is words are not really helpful. So even even it is so, we continue to write and share. What I find in the in terms of uh, in explaining soul's purpose is somewhat um, words are not really kind of able to express it, and probably I'm getting better <laughs> at it because I talk about soul's purpose a lot, and I try to kind of you know uh, really um, like explain it in the wider sense how it manifests in our life, but also how it is relevant to our journey of self-realization. So bringing this to end in one description is not really possible. So I try to put this in a blog post in the best uh, way possible for me. So uh, this blog post is going to explain why soul's purpose is central to our personal development, self-realization and actually finding our flow in life. And um, sometimes we want to, we think that, oh, okay, I found, my, I found my purpose and focusing on this concept or on this project is going to get me where I want to go in life. Yes, it might be something really that speaks to your soul and heart. Maybe you feel so empowered and in your element uh, as you work on it. But the, also there is another aspect of it. The, when we externalize the soul's purpose to, even though we find something that reflects who we are or our belief, opinions, there is a space in, inside of us um, where actual purpose sits. It's like a connection with our divine self, with our true self. And uh, when things go wrong or when we start feeling that things are becoming challenging or meaningless, we just wonder, like, was it not my purpose? Was it not something that I'm supposed to do? Or how am I going to bring this into life if I keep kind of needing direction and feeling lost? So in such circumstances, I feel that we are actually uh, working on this like an infinity sign, like inner alignment and outer alignment, inner alignment and outer alignment. But keeping the center within us is what actually kind of holds the, the outer achievements, outer um, endeavors, outer um, um, actions in line with how it is supposed to be. So the actual template is us actual purpose is is us it's our inner alignment so we are building that because the outer project is actually a reflection for us to kind of be informed about what is happening inside us when we really place that focus into our inner beingness we understand this is actually this project is helping me while I'm trying to help others through my project. So we explore the oneness, law of one, in our um, purpose-related uh, activities, relationship in our business, in our career. But the important thing is that what is actually, what is actually the, my soul's purpose? Okay, I want to achieve this, I want to live this kind of life, and I want to achieve this kind of income. I want to achieve this kind of relationships or uh, enjoyment in life, but what is actually my soul's purpose? In that 
um, in that perspective, we want to kind of um, go, we want to go, we would want to go within and ask this really deeply. And then, so are we going to find answers? No, we don't find answers. Even though we find we might have some answers, but we are not looking for answers. We are asking the right questions. We are looking for the questions. We are looking for the uh, for the inspirations. We are looking for the awareness. So it is like this gentle, soft, non-attached gaze. Uh, what I see is that when we actually define the purpose as a as a higher dimensional connection point, I don't know. If even those words don't seem really explaining, but like. For me, it's like uh, the way Guan Yin, the, our, one of our way showers, guide us that the purpose is the connection point between you and your um, multidimensional self, because you are a being of uh, beyond. You are a being that is in human form, but you are a divine being, a separate in uh, human form, Tao in human form. So what is your purpose? So when you are kind of defining yourself in a more uh, non-descriptive way, then the purpose is becoming just um, what I say, a heart in the middle between you and other you versions of you, other angles of you. All this awareness you are or you are not. So, uh, so we are losing it. Can you see that? It is actually we are not really making sense of it, but we are losing it. And that, that is good. That is good. So we are just what what's happening is in that space that you are saying that, OK, now I align, I align with my purpose and you just ground your uh, entire life, entire uh, aspirations, dreams into that uh, point of, you know, single uh, momentary single placeholder. That is purpose. So I want to be who I am. And with my all my manifestations, incarnations and aspects, we want to be who we are and let's get to work together. Let's do something together and what we are going to do. What is our, what shall we do? Doing is maybe working on a project, maybe building a community for people who need support in certain areas, maybe creating um, art, creating content, creating, um, a place of gathering for people to build dialogues. Maybe it is um, starting up a business, maybe just um, taking some classes that can, that can help with your uh, body, uh, wellness and well-being. So it will come from there. It's like a, it's not coming from the outer exploration, but from this inner alignment when you find yourself in that uh, actually non-attached space of being aligned in that way. But in that alignment, what happens is that because we are not used to guide our, and inspire our reality from within due to our upbringing, societal conditioning and the belief system we have, uh, belief systems we have we inherited and they, which might not be pure in their pure state of states and forms and expressions in our uh, collective reality. So we actually, we are what we are doing is also purifying, realigning, finding out about these misalignments, uh, these uh, limiting beliefs, the opinions. But here in that space, there is a possibility that we can feel this in, in a limitless way. The mind can lift the limit, the heart can be limitless. And our perception, our processing, our intelligence can be limitless. So multidimensional consciousness talks about this rather than um, um, rather than um, descriptions. So I actually um, probably described, but I couldn't actually at the same time explain. <laughs> this is why I keep um, inviting people into our meditations. Have you read um, um, this article? Maybe you will uh, like some points. Maybe you, if you have questions, you can always contact me. It's on our website. I drop the link. And here I also explain why soul purpose alignment helps. It is, yes, soul's purpose is an alignment for us to align with our 
uh, in a beingness with others, uh, aligning not just um, as a human form, aligning, creating the alignment in our multidimensional self in a multi using the multidimensional way techniques. This is what we are going to do in our Soul Purpose Workshop it was this weekend and please if you see other other soul purpose related events and workshops join us because we love new people we love uh, keep doing this realignment sessions these are so important for for our inner alchemy outer transformations empowerment self-realization well-being so to continue this flow of wisdom and guidance because as we use, as we share, we keep receiving through this. This is the channel, this is the portal, this is the meeting point, this is the learning. So important thing is to create this alignment, clear the roadblocks and receive the empowerment so we can continue on. We can go on the journey of uh, um, recentering in our purpose and to discover ourselves. So this is, uh, I introduced also, I explained Soul Purpose Workshops and how we uh, look at these sessions. This is not, uh, this is open to our events and workshops are open to all faiths, traditions and people from different lifestyles and life choices. So it is like more of a, like a gathering around purposeful living and self-mastery. So um, yes, if you want to learn about uh, other workshops, we have a link at the end of this article. If you want to see what is our next event, please go to our event page at the end of this um, uh, blog post. And I hope you enjoy it. And let me know how you find it, if it was helpful. And uh, have a lovely week and let's stay in touch. Bye now.